Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can display size chart pop-up into your Shopify store. So basically this is a product page and I am interested to uh, put here a link of size chart and once a customer is clicking on it, it should display a pop-up for the size chart. So that size chart should be different for each product. So how you can make it happen? Basically this is uh, mostly done by installing the apps but you can just copy and paste the code and implement it for free so you should go to the dashboard of the store here you can see that i have installed down theme if you have any other theme then still this will work click on these three dots click on duplicate once you are duplicating the theme then you should click on edit code here we have some folders and files so i have already written a blog post so you should follow the steps from there i have already written documentation also so you should create a new snippet first name of that snippet is size chart so go to snippets click on add a new snippet paste the name here then click on done then you should paste the attached code which is this one so you should open this file copy the code from here and then paste it inside of this empty file and then click on save once the changes are saved then the next step is add below lines of code in man dash product dot liquid where you want to show size chart clickable link so basically i am going to copy this uh, content from here and then after you should go back to the dashboard click on customize and open the template of the product so i have this product template and here we have uh, add block click on custom liquid paste the code here then after you should move it just above the buy buttons and below the quick selector then click on save once the changes are saved then you should include below line of code at the end of main dash product dot liquid so actually i am going to copy this line of code and going to include it inside of the main product for example i have the main product here so i'm going to paste that line inside of this file so make sure that it should be above this json so you can see that we have this schema just above it i'm going to paste that new line then click on save now the next step is create a product meta field and name it size chart so we need to create a meta field so go back to the dashboard and here we have to click on settings click on custom uh, click on custom data click on products click on add definition and click on and paste the name here size chart and then after you should select the type to file so basically we are going to upload here the image so you can disable videos if uh, you want otherwise keep it as it is then click on save once the changes are saved then you should close this go back to products and here we have for example this product you should scroll it down and here you can see that we have size chart meta field you should click on select file and upload an image so here you can see that i have two different images so for example i am selecting this one and let me save the changes and now you can refresh this page again and here we go now you can see that we have size chart link if you are clicking on it then this is the shirt which is displaying as a pop-up so you should close this and again go back to the dashboard here you should go to another product for example this one and I am going to upload a new image for this one. So let me click here select file and here we have different image save the changes and let me show you in the duplicate uh, tab. So for example I am going back to the catalog click on this different product and here we go. You can click on size chart and you can see that this is different image. So basically this image is related to shirts this is about pants so for each of the product you can upload different images and the pop-up will be displayed as a separate one so that's how you can implement it into your store if you are facing any issue you can ask me i will help you out in that if you stuck somewhere i have already added the contact details below in the description so if you have any new feature to develop then definitely you can contact me thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video thank you once again see you in the next video